What's going on Miami Hurricanes fans and welcome to the first ever episode of Walking and Venting with Coop. And it's exactly what it sounds like it is. It's me walking back and forth along my property here where I live and venting about various different topics when it comes to the Miami Hurricanes. And this first one is a hot one. Is Manny Diaz the wrong man for the job? Is he the problem? We've got a lot to talk about in this one. I do want to just let you know kind of exactly what these are. So I'm out of my element a little bit, right? We're not in the studio. We're out here in nature. But that's really what I wanted these videos to be. I wanted it to be something a little bit different. When you spend eight to 10 hours a day cooped up in a studio office, uh, it gets a little tiring, man, and you get run down. And I love being outside, out, out here in nature, getting some vitamin D, soaking up that sunlight. And I feel like this would be something that would be a kind of a, just a, a cool environment to walk and talk and vent with you guys and discuss some, some topics that maybe we don't get an opportunity typically to dive into on the channel. Um, and then I want you guys to be 100% blunt and honest in all of these episodes down in the comment section. And don't be worried about what anybody thinks. Uh, if you think that somebody's going to say you're not a fan or if you think somebody's going to get mad at you, you are free to discuss and say anything you want in these videos because most of them are going to be hot topics and i'm going to upload one every single sunday throughout the entire season and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it so let's just go ahead and dive right in to this topic uh i want to be open and upfront and transparent uh, i am one of those miami fans that has defended Manny Diaz pretty heavily, even after all of the shortcomings and all the things that have happened over the last two years under Manny, uh, I've defended him. I've said, you know, year one was rough, but year two was the COVID season and we still improved and I had high hopes going into 2021. And I even uploaded a video on my channel that was titled, Give Head Coach Manny Diaz Some Respect because at the end of the day, the man was willing to make changes during the off season, and that was something that was very welcoming to me. You know, we've had a lot of head coaches that are stubborn typically, and the higher family members or uh, <clears throat> best friends that they don't want to get rid of. And it's been super frustrating over the last few years, more than a few years, 10 to 15, 20 years, right? So, I, I have been one who's had his back, and I, I have come running to defend him whenever Canes fans dog him and trash talk him. And I've said, Get, give the man three to five years. Give him some time before we truly decide if he's the man for the job. But I have to tell you guys something. We're going. This is year three, and we're only two games into year three, right? But I am consistently seeing a football team take the field that looks unprepared, poorly coached, unenthusiastic. And this has been going on for the three years that Manny Diaz has been the head coach. And have we dealt with some of that before he was the head coach? Sure. But he's the head coach now, and since he's came in and took over, it's the same stuff. Weekend and week out and I'm getting to a point to where I'm getting really frustrated and sick and tired of it to be honest I, I, I use this analogy all the time on the channel when I tell people that I, I watch other football teams play I don't just watch the Miami Hurricanes I, I, my Saturdays are full of just college football all day and in well into the night and early morning hours and I watch all of these teams that look so much better than us much more well coached uh and it's it really is just i'm for a lack of better words i keep saying the same thing it's just super frustrating because not all of these teams are top five top 10 top 25 teams but they come out and they look ready to play ball and a lot of times 
we come out and we just look lost and slow and lethargic and as i said unenthusiastic and a lot of that comes down to coaching man it's the the, the coach's jobs to get these players prepared and i i am that guy that that says it's 50 50. It, it's on the coaches and it's on the players the coaches are the ones who train these guys week in and week out the coaches are the ones that put together a game plan for the week against the opponent but then the players do have to come out and perform and execute as well so don't don't just blame the coaches don't just blame the players uh it, it takes both of them to to make this thing happen right but i see so many teams come out and make it a game week in and week out in these big time games and we just continuously look unprepared and I, i'm getting sick and tired of it because at the end of the day manny diaz is the leader he's the head coach yeah we have each you know position coach and whatnot but at the end of the day they report back to head coach manny diaz and i've seen a lot of people mention that you know let's use alabama as a quick example here they'll be up 40 points and they will fumble the ball and Nick Saban will be beat red, throwing off his headset, ripping into his players. And they will be up 40 points, bro. The Miami Hurricanes will be losing 27 to 0. And something good will go our way. We'll get a turnover. And we're breaking out the turnover chain and looking flashy for the camera. And there, there's nothing wrong with trying to get you guys hyped up. You know, that's part of what I want to see from a head coach is one who's vocal and very passionate and, you know, getting in the huddle with the players and trying to hype everybody up. And may maybe the turnover chain does get the players hyped up. That's that's going to be a discussion for probably maybe next week's episode. We'll talk about the turnover chain and the touchdown rings and all that stuff. This video, let's keep it about Manny Diaz and head coaching, okay? But that's kind of frustrating because... We're over here celebrating and dancing, and bro, we're losing by three or four touchdowns instead of being over there coaching up the players, man. <sighs> so I'm getting to a point to where I feel like that overall we are kind of regressing. I'm not seeing us taking positive steps forward, and it's making me start to lose faith in Manny Diaz. I don't feel like I can really defend him any longer or for much longer because I'm reaching if I'm trying to. When I when I try to when people come at me and they say, Coop, Manny ain't the guy. They're calling for his head. They want him fired. Normally I would you know I would have some things to come back and argue, well let's try this or let's do this. But man, I'm running out. And I know that it's early in the season, but I have got to see this team come out looking prepared in a big time football game and next week is going to be one of those opportunities we're at home hard rock stadium michigan state is coming to our town our house and if we come out and look unprepared again just like we did against alabama and still in my opinion just like we looked unprepared against app state i'm not arguing that app state is uh, a, a bad football team they are a good football team but it doesn't change the fact that even though we won, we looked unprepared in that game. Uh, I just hate it that that I got this bad feeling in the pit of my stomach, man. Seriously. And I just want to be blunt and, and honest with you guys. So is Manny Diaz the problem? Is Manny Diaz the wrong guy for the job this is what everybody's watching the video for they want me to actually just answer it instead of beating around the bush the short answer to that question i think at this point is yes i do think that he is one of the big contributors to the problem with what's going on in the program right now and i do think that he's probably the wrong guy for the job i think if miami wants to be on top again we cannot hire a coach that needs to learn on the job. And I realized that Mark Rick wasn't learning on the job. Mark Rick would be one of those coaches where you could say, well, that guy brought experience. But at the end of the day, what did he really have other than a bunch of conference championships 
at Georgia, right? So you could argue that he was kind of proven, but also not at the same time. So I, I do not want to bring in another head coach who needs to learn on the job. We need to bring in a guy who his resume for the past five to 10 years is head coaching and it is proven. And to be honest, one of, one of my guys that I wanted, everybody's all Canes fans are screaming and yelling for Mario Cristobal, right? And I, I, I like that. I like it. I dig it. But I don't think that we realistically pull Mario Cristobal from Oregon. They just took down Ohio State, bro. Uh, I think that he's enjoying his time over there. Uh, would he have came to Miami a few years ago, possibly? Yeah, probably. If the money was right, I think he would have. Uh, but we, I guess, didn't want to spend the money. Uh, but for me, honestly, I am a, a Lane Kiffin fan. Do I think that we can get Lane Kiffin at this point? That's also probably a big fat no for, for multiple reasons. Uh, money, possibly. Maybe not the money. Money may not be a problem. But I, I don't think that Lane Kiffin leaves Ole Miss unless maybe it's like another three to five years from now. Maybe. Then he might consider it because the, the man loves Florida. He would fit right in in South Florida. You can disagree with me if you want. That's the point of these videos is we're being blunt and honest. And I'm saying things that, you know, sometimes I don't normally say on my streams or videos. Uh, but Lane Kiffin is a guy that I would like. Uh, and that's just one. We could dive in. We could do a whole video of just discussing tons of potential head coaches and stuff. And don't get it twisted. I don't want you to think that, that I'm saying to fire Manny Diaz three weeks into the 2021 college football season. That would absolutely just derail the season and be catastrophic for this team, honestly. I, I'm not for firing a head coach early in the season. That's just silly talk, man. That would be stupid. It's fine. You know, a lot of times it'll happen towards the end of the season, the last game or the bowl game or something, but you don't do that, bro, three weeks into the season. It'd be bad because then, then who takes over, right? It, would, it wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be good, man. And it would just be really bad for the morale, and it would be bad for the players as well. But I do think at this point I, that we there, there's still some potential there because at the end of the day, we've got a lot of talent. We've got a lot of athleticism. We have the whole season laid out in front of us because we've not even started ACC play. And we all know uh, – I stuck my hand in the spider web. We all know how crazy the Coastal can be, man. You know, North Carolina already lost to Virginia Tech, so it's going to be wide open. But then once, let's say we get to the ACC championship game, then what? Then what, bro? If we pull a miracle, we get to the playoffs, then what? So many things need to happen for us. But I'm getting off topic. I think that Manny Diaz probably is just not going to be able to get it done for us. And I, I'm going to try to remain optimistic, and I want him to succeed because if he succeeds, we all succeed. The Miami Hurricanes succeed. But honestly, from what I've seen over the last three years, I'm not just talking about Alabama and App State. Let's, let, let's just take the entire three seasons he's been at Miami and put it together. I don't think he has what it takes to get it done. I don't. I, I think that he'll probably get five years to see what he can really accomplish at the University of Miami. But at the end of the day, I think best we're ever looking at is ACC championship game appearances. And we, then we get smashed. And that's about as far as Manny Diaz's potential goes. I love that he's willing to make changes. Some of them have been good. Some of them have been bad. Uh, but overall, at the end of the day, they all report to Manny Diaz. And if, if you really, if you really want to dive in, uh, we could talk about who Manny Diaz reports to, and we could get into talking about Blake James, the, the athletic director, because man, everything starts at the very tippy top, right? And I don't think that Blake James really, I'm gonna be real, I don't think that he really cares if the football team is great again. I think as long as we are just okay and the money is rolling in, that's really about it. We don't have an athletic director that truly cares about making the football program great again. Um, so really it starts way up at the top, but man, I guess that's really about it for me. I just wanted to vent and put it out there that you know I've spent the last three years defending Manny Diaz uh, but if he wants me to continue to be that guy, then he is going to have to show me something. 
I need a signature win under head coach Manny Diaz. I need an ACC championship game appearance and making it a game. And it can't just be a one-off thing. It can't be it happens one season and then the next we're like, oh, well, I guess we, you know, we, we lost some players. Some guys graduated. We lost some dudes to the draft. Uh, we got to start. No, no, I need some consistency. And right now, week three in the season, I have got to see players showing up looking much more prepared for the opponent and for the game. Because at the end of the day, that comes down to our head coach, Manny Diaz, and he is just not getting it done. So I'm losing faith. I'm not quite believing in Manny Diaz like I was when we brought him in, and I'm having a hard time defending him and backing him up, bro. So yeah, I think that Manny Diaz overall is probably the wrong guy for the job. I He's probably not taking us to the promised land, guys. And that's just me being honest. Like I said, I'll try to be positive and optimistic. And I'm still going to root for the Canes just the same. I bleed orange and green, bro. I know nothing else. But at the end of the day, I just don't think he has what it takes to get it done, man. So insert your talk. We can talk about guys that, that you wanted maybe instead of Manny. You can you, you can talk bad about Manny or the team if you want to. That's fine. You you can be the positive guy in the comment section. And you can give me some reasons why I should think otherwise. That's okay. You can be that guy. Like I said, these are mostly just venting, giving me an opportunity to get out in nature, step outside the studio for a little bit, and just kind of one-on-one -on -one with you guys on some, some hot topics. So this was episode one, walking and venting with coop we'll upload one every single sunday and we'll have a little chit chat about some some hot topics <sighs> manny 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 please bro give me something show up and look prepared against michigan state and i want to see you on the sideline hyped i want to see you on the sideline coaching every down and i need to see that defense dialed up and prepared to stop this Michigan State offense. Give me a reason to defend you, bro, and to feel like that you can take the next step for this program. Because things aren't looking good, Manny. They're not looking good at all, bro. Peace out, y'all. I'll see you in the next one.